Greetings, members, one and all of the Salvation Nation. All of the gold that has been discovered in the world, both above and below ground. Let's explore! For those of you familiar with this channel, which has been in existence for almost nine years now, you know that I like to bring information about precious metals in different ways. And one way is through the use of infographics like this one that has just recently been released by VisualCapitalist.com. I think it gives us a better understanding, even if some of the information is familiar, to have it updated and presented in a format like this. It gives us some perspective on these metals. And this is quite a fascinating information. Gold is virtually indestructible, meaning that almost all of the metal that has been mined is still around in one form or another. Societies and civilizations have admired gold for thousands of years for its beauty, value, and permanence. In fact, we know that gold that's been discovered in ancient Egypt uh, well, if you look back through the course of that time, it's like it's brand new when it comes when it comes out of the ground or uh, taken out of a tomb. Uh, the gold does not react to any of the elements. Uh, it stays true to its form. It does not tarnish. It does not rust or corrode. I think that is part of what makes it so special, apart from many other metals that are out there. In fact, its permanence is quite revealing from a case that happened back during World War II, I believe it was in the Netherlands, in a video that I covered about this topic, about a Nobel Peace Prize that was literally melted down for fear of it being confiscated by the Nazis. And then after the war was over, uh, after the, uh, the thing was melted down through this aqua regia chemical process, the liquid it was reformed back into the Nobel Peace Prize. To me, that's just fascinating and goes to show you that literally the best way to hide gold is in plain sight by dissolving in that form and in reconstituting it again. So how much gold have we mined and how much is left beneath the ground? If all of the world's mined gold were placed next to each other, the resulting cube would only measure 22 meters on each side. And we'll get a more precise measurement of that here below in the infographic, but uh, I think that's kind of a poor description because all the gold literally would have to be uh, melted down into this cube or put into this cube uh, together and compact. That's how dense gold is. No space between all of this gold placed next to each other would have to be literally compact and poured or cast into this large cube. So when we have the total above ground stocks, we're talking 201 1,296 tons, which uh, seems like a lot, but in the grand scheme of things compared to other elements on the periodic table, it's not that much. Then you have the total identified underground reserves at 53,000 tons, which are estimated figures from the World Gold Council. I mean, it's an estimate, but nonetheless, uh, these, um, especially the below ground, there is a lot of technology that's used in order to uh, have uh, derive those estimates. And you've heard me profile some of these uh, mining exploration companies that are out to find new reserve, new um, mines to be able to take gold out of the ground. And the discoveries of some of these properties are pretty amazing what they've been done, doing with the drill samples and the like. And gold is so rare, it's worth the time and energy to look for it on properties. So here we have a blow up of the cube that we can see here of the above ground here cube that we see we see that is more precise measured of 21.8 meters and India and China account for over 50 percent of gold jewelry demand in the in 2020 so 46 uh, percent here of jewelry that we see here 5.8 um, trillion dollars worth and we can see here that it's the percent of above, above ground stocks there, and it says 46%. This thing has a greater than sign, so that may be a typo. So, but even so, it just goes to show you how important 
uh, culturally gold is to both India and China and really the East in general. Uh, and they understand it culturally and it's tied in directly with a, as a store of wealth. It's pretty amazing. I recently, in the last few years or so, got a 24 karat gold ring. Um, and I just wanted something pure gold that was in that format so that I could have it to admire it for what it is. And uh, it's a fascinating thing. And um, to be able to have something that is in a jewelry form, pure gold in your hand. The U.S. Federal Reserve holds 8,133 tons of gold reserves, more than twice the reserves of any other country. And by the way, that's from the United States, and they are not adding a single ton or even a single ounce, from what I understand, to their official holdings. And it was at one time, I believe, that we had over 20,000 tons, but some of that could have been storing gold for other nations during World War II. But nonetheless, I believe we should be adding more to our reserves. I believe that's a sort of a complacency when other nations are adding uh, at an exponential rate. So the official holdings of gold from nations around the world accounts for 17% of the stockpiles, and that's 34,211 tons. That's $2.1 trillion worth. Uh, it still uh, pales in comparison to the amount of jewelry held by individuals. Then we have private investment, which private investment of gold is above the official holdings worth at 44,384 uh, tons, and that is $2.8 trillion. That's 22%, and that should be measured as physical gold. And by the way, if it's held as physical gold, I would not refer to it as an investment, but rather a hedge, an insurance policy. But I've talked about that in prior videos. Then the other is uh, 29,448 tons, which is just below the official holdings figure. That is a 15% slice of the cube here. That's $1.8 trillion worth. What constitutes as being other? Well, my guess is probably in um, applications, perhaps as an industrial and ornamentation, perhaps plating of things. And we can see here the dollar values are calculated using the gold price of $1,756.66 as of the close of September the 30th, 2021. Gold is uh, about $100 above that now as of the recording of this video. So bars and coins represent 92% of gold stocks held in investments. That's 40,620 tons. And then you have 3,764 tons in ETFs. So that's an interesting uh, statistic there. Now let's take a look at the underground gold reserves as estimated here. And current production rates of, of th negative 3,000 tons per year, underground reserves will last less than 18 years. That's at the current rate of what's, what we know to be there. Again, as I mentioned earlier, more is being discovered but there's less ground to cover in that area. And the amount of technology uh, needed and improvements there in mining discovery technology probably won't catch up with the amount of time and the demand rate that we pulled out of the ground. And we can see here that <clears throat> Australia is at 19% for the underground gold reserves. Um, and then Russia is at 14%. The U.S. is at 6%, Peru is at 5%, South Africa is at 5% as well, at 2,700 tons below ground. The rest of the world is at 51%, so just over half um, for the rest of the world here, 27,100 tons. <clears throat> I guess that some of that's China, uh, China is very discreet about its volunteering information about what they have below the ground and the like. So gold has retained its value for thousands of years and will continue to do so in the future, especially with what we expect to be with under 18 years at a rate of uh, 3,000 tons per year, production rate for that. Uh, but nonetheless, exploration for new gold deposits will be valuable in replenishing the world's gold reserves. And this is presented by a mining company and there's others out there 
that are out uh, making discoveries and see how it all plays out. But this is a fascinating infographic indeed to see how the, how it breaks down. But gold is uh, this should help you to understand a little bit more just how rare gold is and why it's not not a bad idea to have some in your possession physical possession of gold so there you have it let me know what your thoughts are i'd like to extend a multitude of gratitude to you all for taking the time to watch this video and to encourage you to please rate share comment and subscribe